How's it going? It's, it's going. How are you? Oh, not too bad. I'm uh, on here collecting paranormal experiences to share with people on uh, my YouTube channel. And I'm wondering if you have anything you would be interested in contributing. Well, I've, I've had a few, like, ghost things. And I'm a modern-day vampire other than when I'm cosplaying. Right. Okay. But, yeah, just a few ghost stories here and there. Do you want to share any of those ghost stories? Um, I'm sure. They're kind of, like, very small, you know, because, like, it was many years ago. Okay. But there was one time when I was at my old house, and through my bedroom door, you know, I saw this man, and he was in a suit, and he had, like, you know, like, circle glasses and, like, slicked back hair and, like, a okay. briefcase, like, very, like, proper looking. And then he had a, a little girl and, like, a like blonde hair, blue dress, and then there was a little boy who, who he was, I think he was, like, the, the two kids were blonde. And the little boy was probably, like, five, and he was also in a little suit. <laughs> but, you know, after I saw them, that was, like, the last time I saw them. Interesting. So was this, like, late at night, and they just appeared in your doorway, or...? I'm not too sure what time it was. It was, it was back when I was, like, real little. Uh, probably maybe, like, midday. Okay. Real little being, if you had to guess an age. Probably eight. Okay. And you're thinking it was close to midday. Um, these weren't people that, like, your family knew or anything? Were you no. home alone? Um, I don't think I was home alone, but I never really mentioned it. Interesting. Like, okay. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I don't know what that was, but... Did you get any kind of like hostile intent or or um, anything or was it just here I am and now we're gone? Pretty much it was just it was totally fine. I've only woken up to like one like face in my face, but huh. like that was the only one I was like I don't really know what his deal is. Okay. But it was not the same ghost and then there was another one that and I don't know if these are ghosts or just my imagination. Sure. But my little sister was sleeping downstairs, and her bedroom was across the way from mine. And we had some chairs stacked up in the hallway. And, you know, it's like that that time it was real late at night. And, you know, I see this, like, figure move and duck down behind the chairs. And I'm like, you know, I'm just like, I called my sister's name a little bit, and then I went into our room, and I was like, all right, nobody's there. Going back to bed. Do what you will. Huh. I was like, enjoy, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Was this all in the the same house, or? Yes, it was all in the same house, and it was, uh, it's in a historic town. Okay. But, you know, we moved out probably more like six years ago now. And then nothing ever since. Uh, not, not more like physical like representations of people it's more like i've seen like shadows and stuff but sure. it could just be because i'm older or you know because like, i guess kids can pick that up better yeah i've also wondered about that myself uh whether younger uh children have an attunement and they're able to pick up that stuff and then as we get older it's it's almost like it fades and it goes yeah. from full detail to just shadows to nothing at all, potentially. How's it going? You're, you're looking a little unhealthy. Oh, it's not me. It was the guy before me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was my stepfather. Oh, but, okay. You know, he let me ride my bike in the hallway like a big boy. So Yeah. I, I can tell it was your stepfather by the mustache. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had more things than me. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. I didn't have any, so I wanted to look cool. So I say something. <laughs> Uh, do you have any, I'm on here looking for people with paranormal experiences, like ghosts and, and all sorts of stuff. Do you have anything? Well, my stepfather, he's a ghost now. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, 
Me myself, not really. Okay. Does he but, does he haunt you now? Um, like, is he sitting beside you in on the couch or? Not anymore. I taste blood. You taste blood. Okay. Yeah. Is it good? I'm actually really turned on by it. <laughs> Is that considered incest since it was my stepfather's name? Incest. It's just Texas, after all. I love it. I love it. Hey, you do yeah, you, yeah. man. You do you. Wait, hello. Yo, that's awesome. Thank you. Is that like a mask that lights up or what? Yeah. Or is it just your face? I mean. Oh, that's my face. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's dope. Do you have like a, a voice app as well? No. That's me. Uh, that's just my voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm, uh, I'm on here uh, collecting paranormal stories from uh, people and I'm sharing stuff on, YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Uh, do you have any paranormal experiences you would like to contribute to my channel? Actually, yeah. Sweet. Well, what do you What do you got? Like ghost stuff or monsters or what? Well, there was like this dark guy. It kind of looked like he used to be like a priest. Okay. He would. I was like, I'm 13 now, but when I was nine, he would always stand in the doorway, and I couldn't get to my dinner dinner because I would always see him. We would have to close the doors. But he would be in a different room every time we would do that, so... Huh. We decided to do the exorcist, and now it's gone, but now I feel like... Ever since I saw that, I feel like there's something more going on, because my mom has multiple... Lots of dolls. Oh, boy. And I feel like they're always looking at me. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. No, I, I... Dolls creep me out. Uh, so I'm just like... And also, uh, one of my mom's dolls broke, and we have... All of her cats were in the same room as us. The doll was completely... It, it looked like it was pushed from force, like, complete force. It was like sitting in a chair and pushed over, or just on the ground, or what? It was on a shelf, but okay. we had nobody to come in. It was like a small shelf, like a desk. It looked like it was forced to hmm. push from behind it. Interesting. It was up against it. And we had no clue. Nobody was else. Nobody else was there. And not my, my mom thinks I'm crazy. She thinks I can speak to the dead. Yeah, I... I my mom thinks I'm crazy, too. She but. says I'm talking to somebody that's not even here. I mean, we well, we don't know what it is, right? I mean, yeah. it could be spirits uh, of of past humans. Uh, could be some other sort of entity as well. We're we're not really sure. Cause I know that I feel I still see something in my cat's room. Like there's someone in the corner. Like you see that see it out of the corner of your eye, but it's never quite in vision. No, it's in vision. Like there's somebody there. Okay. Like, it's very creepy. There, are they, like, as clear as day? Like, just standing right in front of you, or...? Yeah. Okay. And does anyone else see see them? No. Just you? Yeah, just me. Okay. And there's there's multiple entities, like, yeah. mul multiple people. It's not just, yeah. like, the same person or, or whatever every time. Yeah. There's multiple. Interesting. Well, considering you live near, right next to a graveyard, an uh, old graveyard. Okay. There also used to be a baseball field and... Interesting. If this house used to be where they would, uh... Put the bodies in and... Oh, uh, for the... Okay, graveyard. so your, your house was like the, the morgue. Yeah. Yo. Okay. That adds up that makes a lot more sense yeah wow. so have you always lived in this house and just seen th stuff in this house or have you like seen stuff anywhere else we have seen i have seen actually 
We got we got something on camera. We think it's a demon. Oh yeah. What makes so you think it's a demon? Uh, because we all took a picture and there was something in the window. It kind of looks like it's got horns a little bit, but it also looks like it has a demonic face. I, I often I often wonder about that um, whether demons are are real, which is why I kind of asked the question. Is um, I'm wondering if there's like a distortion uh, between our I don't know what to call them um, dimensions, universes, phases, but I'm wondering yeah. if there's like a distortion that makes them appear evil or if they actually are evil um, I'm just curious I feel like it's something that makes me look like it yeah hmm. it's like creepy my dad's trying to investigate it oh yeah well it's just telling me that house is built on the top of the graveyard so your dad believes in this stuff and it's just yeah. your mom that doesn't she does she's trying to help him Oh. I asked them if I could help, and they said, oh, well, you're too emotional, you could possibly get possessed. Hmm. I said, I'd rather get possessed than anything. <laughs> well, that's, that's cool that they're uh, open to the idea of it. Yeah, ever since she, she found something, there was, like, something in a laundry chute, like, an old laundry chute where you would put clothes in, and it will lead to the washer and dryer. Okay. Like a drop chute, yeah. Yeah. She found something in there, and ever since she found something, weird stuff's been happening. A lot of paranormal activity. Are you able to tell me what she found, or...? Oh, I don't know. My mom said she found something, and that's it. All right, man. Well, thanks for uh, sharing your your tales with me. I, I appreciate that. And I'm gonna move on here to the next. Can you tell me your channel? There you go. Perception Paranormal. You can Google it, or uh, if you wanna look it up through the link I sent. How many subscribers you got? Uh, I just started. Uh, so I only have 55 right now. Hi, right, I'll definitely subscribe. Cool, man. Awesome. I'll be part of this too. There you go. You'll be part of the dream. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. I'm just on here um, chatting with people, collecting uh, paranormal experiences to share on my YouTube channel. Uh, do you have anything you would like to contribute? One sec. <laughs> Are you going to scare me? I have an Ouija board. <laughs> oh, you have a Ouija board. Nice. But I don't have anyone to play with. Yo. Play. That's an interesting term for a Ouija board. Do you play a Ouija board? Or do you just well, communicate through a Ouija sorry, board? Sorry, yes, communicate. You're right. I'm just... Have you ever used it? I have. And what kind of uh, communication did you, did you get? Or did you get anything at all? Um, I got pretty bad spirits. Okay. Can you yeah. elaborate on that? Um, well... Um, like, I was playing this with my friend. Probably not the safest place to do it is in a graveyard. Yeah, naturally. But that's where more <laughs> spirits go, right? Possibly. I mean, we don't really know, right? Are well, they trapped there? Or is that just know. where we put the the human remains? Are they even human spirits, or are they something else? You never know. Exactly. Unless so. you look through the looking glass thingy. The looking glass thingy. I, I don't know where the patch lid is right now. I mean, I could probably find it, because it's somewhere over there. But, yeah, I got this one. And, um, so, um, my grandmother was kind of a little bit of a spooky person. Okay. She's the one who gave me this. Okay. And she's like, 
um, just be careful with it because like I love horror. I love yeah. horror. I love all of that stuff. That's a, this is the reason why I have this. <laughs> yeah, you seem pretty <laughs> excited already. I am pretty excited <laughs> because I haven't had this experience before. And it, so um, my she warned me about uh, like this one spear. I can't remember what the name was, but it kept on trying to break out of the board. Hmm. Okay, so there's. She believed that there was a spirit actually trapped within the Ouija board itself. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that kind of like creeps me out about Ouija boards is that yeah. I don't really know exactly what I'm dealing with. Like, are you yeah. communicating with a spirit that is trapped in there? Or are you communicating with entities like every, everywhere? Yeah. You um, don't know. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm a little wary of it. Uh, I have a friend that has done a fair bit of Ouija board stuff. And they say, oh, really? um, you know, really, you just have to be very specific about what you are, what you intend. Um, yeah. So if it's just we are having a communication for a set amount of time, no longer, um, I don't give you permission to do this, that, or the next thing. Just communicate. I only accept healthy, good communication, so on and so forth. Uh, as long as you set your intent um, and be very specific, then you'll never have any kind of negative uh, interactions. But I've never yeah. used a Ouija board myself. Ooh, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> We were okay, so there's a um, what is it called? A cemetery, like just up the road from me. Okay. And I went there with my friend and another friend. We're gonna I'm and I'm I don't care, I'm gonna say the name. It was with um my old friend okay. I no, I'm not friends with her anymore because she's a bitch. Anyways. <laughs> Naturally, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and we went up there with my other friend. So what happened? All of a sudden, we hear this big, like, crash, because the, there's a forest behind it. We just hear this huge, like, tree just, like, fall or something. Okay. This big, loud noise, and then we both, we all look over there, and then there's nothing there, obviously. But then, um, I don't know if it's because, like, I'm possibly possessed, but I keep on seeing, like, black figures all around my house now like after that experience after that experience yeah hmm. yeah i wonder if did you guys close communication properly i've we heard did. that like, there we, is we like went, like uh goodbye whatever yeah and you never let go of the board until you say goodbye yeah yeah i heard that's a thing i i, I only know what i've heard about ouija boards but so um, anything was, more about these shadows that you've seen recently? How long has that been going on? Like sleep paralysis ones or like during the, the day? The ones during the day, like after you use the Ouija board. Um, so what I'll do is I'll like go get something from the fridge, right? I'll okay. go get like food or whatever. And then, um, so there's like this, there's a dining table right next to where the fridges so there's like a doorway over there and then i will just he like see something just popping out and as soon as i look over it's gone wow so it's all is it always just out of the corner of your eye um like if i like not gonna be a little fishy right now but like if i like stare at a screen for a little bit like if i'm watching a movie like it'll be like i don't know something fun something comedy whatever and then I look up, and then I just see something just looking at me, because I feel, I, like you said, like I feel like something's watching me. Mm -hmm. So I just look mm -hmm. up and around my room, and I just see something. And then it's just like there, and then I like go up to it, because like I want to see if, if I'm actually like seeing something that's real, and then it just goes like away. Hmm. Wow. wow. Like, um, there's also this other one when I was I was laying in bed, which I'm on right now, and um, I hear this noise. It sound it's an orange ball that 
um, goes against my door. So what I do as I'm laying down, and I, I'm like, I'm probably playing on my phone, whatever. I'll hear something, I'll be like, bounce, bounce, bounce. And I'll, I'll look up, I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I look down the floor, and I just see an orange ball rolling and hitting my door. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I may or may not have made my house haunted, but it's fine. I have this bulletin board right here. Um, and I used to have a calendar sitting on it because calendar, whatever. And, um, I would just be sitting here on my back and it'd just be, it would be flicking up. Like, Whoa. it wasn't like, like, um, like a page. Like, it would keep on going. It just kept on going up, but it wasn't, like, connected to anything. Hmm. Is there any kind of vent or anything nearby that could be blowing? air conditioning or anything like that? Nope, my vent's over there. Hmm. I have a vent there and a vent there, and this one doesn't work, and this one does. Interesting. And nothing Very else not. moved over there? It was always just nothing. the calendar it just lifting? That. It was just that. Was it lifting in a... Kind of a strange question, but is it lifting in a particular way, like just a single corner lifting up, or the whole? No, the whole, like the whole thing. Um, I don't know how to explain it because that calendar's gone. I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> it just it haunted calendar. Yes, it like so. It was like this. This is the calendar, and then one page which is flipped up like this, and it just stayed like that for how long at a time? Depends if I touched it or not. Like, if I didn't touch it at all, it would stay there every single day, every single night. Huh. But if I touched it, it would just fall. Wow, that's weird. Um, another thing with people, like, things flipping up, my friend, um, her name is... She has a desk right by this, like, um, can't really, like, closet mirror? Like, you know the mirrors with the, or the closet with the mirrors where it's, yeah. like, sliding yeah. or whatever? She has it like this, and, um, when she's sitting on it doing her homework or whatever she needs to do, she gets a little piece of hair and it just flicks up. And it just stays. There's no air, no nothing. It's just sticking up there. Hmm. It's like somebody's, like, pulling it up. And it's just like one individual hair? It's like a group. It's like this. It's like sitting like this. And this is at her house or this is, this at, is at your her house. house? And her house is just over there. Hmm. Was she one of the ones that went out and did the Ouija board thing with you? She was not. Okay. Interesting. But she, she gets the dark shadows too. That's the thing. Like, she'll be sitting on her bed, probably playing on her phone, and then um, she looks up and then there's, like, something on the ceiling. Like, just a black figure. There's no eyes, no nothing. It's just a black face. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's creepy. I woke up once to, um, a giant black sphere of mist just hovering over top of me. Yeah, um, that's... It had, like, a had like a gray silhouette of a face but like no gray? defining features it was just okay. kind of like a forehead a bridge of a nose a jaw kind of thing like it was just a very very broad uh outline and it was just kind of like looking at me like two feet above my head and pretty spooky man. yeah i just took a swing at it and it just vanished and then I turned on all the lights in the house. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, um, did I subscribe to their room channel, by the way? Oh, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Cool. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah. You're cool with me uh, making yeah. some of this into a video? Do whatever you post my face, whatever. <laughs> awesome, thanks, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Cool. Have a good one. You too, take care.